for good of a high RPM power or low end torque. A two cylinder can be tuned either way if need be. It is only a matter of layout and a couple of other engineering details, which way a manufacturer wants to aim it. Of course, then no two different twin cylinders can sound the same, neither in lines, V's or boxes. Honda VTR 1000RC51 The RC51 was a twin-cylinder superbike by Honda, created for the World Superbike Championship. As in 1988, the rules allowed 999cc V twin engines to participate, leaving the smaller 750cc V4 contenders at the bottom of the rankings. The new Honda was a strong rival and eventually was even sold as a road league bike. KTM 1290 Super Duke R The 1290 Super Duke R is considered the king of today's naked bikes. Besides its crazy power, it is also a torque monster, supposedly making over 106 pound feet. That's the peak number, but from 2500 RPM, the engine is already sending 74 pound feet to the wheel. In short, this is the most extreme version of the KTM LC8 engine so far. Ducati Panigale Essentially, the Panigale is the superbike lineup by Ducati. It starts at 9.59 and ends at 12.99. This one has the largest displacement of 1285cc and lacks only 3 ponies at the peak to have 200 horsepower. There is even the Panigale R model surprisingly with a smaller 1198cc engine and 205 horsepower at 11500 rpm. It has tightening valves and conrods, touring pistons and crankshaft with tungsten balancing weights. BMW R9T The BMW R9T is a back to basics bike. Its goal was to bring a pure motorcycle without any unnecessary stuff that some bikers might not want. It has a modern twin cylinder box engine with an old fashioned air and oil cooling, classic design with a circular headlight and spoke wheels. The engine isn't super powerful but has some good torque. Triumph Truxton 1200R 
The Truxton was already introduced back in 2004 with an even firing straight twin, but in 2016 it was replaced by an all new model, featuring very similar design. The engine was different though, not only enlarged, but also firing the second cylinder 270 degree later. That's why it sounds like a 90 degree V twin. Suzuki SFV650 Gladius Suzuki has been offering V twin roadsters for a long time so far, and although they are only decently power rated, they are cooler than they may appear. To be honest, I was stunned by one I was riding at my motor school. It had brutal torque and beautiful and loud sound, even with the OEM exhaust. It was the SV650, then the SFV650, and now it is sold as the SV650A. Honda CX650 Turbo There is quite a bit of turbocharged motorcycles in the world and the CX650 definitely is one of the nicest sounding. It was a 80 degree V-shaped twin cylinder with the pushrod valve train so it was meant to sound great. Also it wasn't very different than the CX650 which it was sourced from. Yamaha MT-07 With his engine, excuse my subjectivity, but to me this is one of the best bikes. It carries Yamaha's crossplane crankshaft inside, which essentially is the very same thing as the Truxton has, the 270 degree spaced crank pins. It is also said to be a fun and joyful engine, without any dead spots and not a bad fuel economy at all. Aprilia RSV1000R As Aprilia's first large displacement motorcycle, the RSV Miller was a predecessor to the RSV1000R. Things weren't too much different, the engine was pretty much the same, the Rotax V60 built by Austrians. Until now, Aprilia was making bikes only up to 250cc, so this bike brought something on a much higher level to her customers. EBR1190SX The acronym stands for Eric Buell Racing and most of you may have not ever heard about the 1190SX from Wisconsin. It is said to be the very same bike as the Superbike model but in more like a Street Fighter naked look. Although it isn't so naked, the engine has some serious power, similarly to the Super Duke R. The 72 degree V engine also has a different firing, that's a great sound.
Motoguzi V7. A new generation of the Motoguzi V7 is anything but super high tech, and that's what it was actually meant to be, a retro looking classic bike with a warranty. Besides, with this motorcycle, the company also celebrated 40th anniversary of the original 1967 Motoguzi V7 introduction using a very similar power plant with a pair of 90 degree V shaped cylinders, an OHV valve train, mounted longitudinally. Honda CB500 The Honda CB500 may be a boring even firing twin cylinder, but its sound note is a joy to listen. Perhaps it is the pair of 34mm K in carburetors or its high performance output. Although it was a budget friendly and better than suitable bike, it definitely wasn't slow with its 58 horsepower. In my opinion, a YouTuber called Shaf has an extremely good sounding CB500.